This here is what Governor Greg Abbott has been up to. Uh, again, busing migrants to Kamala Harris's house. Wonderful, wonderful opportunity on Christmas Eve, you know, to showcase how fucking Christian you are. You know what I mean? Just the most Christian thing you can do. This morning, days after buses of migrants were dropped off in 18 degree cold on Christmas Eve. During a fucking snowstorm, dude. Oh, man, I love this country so much. How wonderful of a Christian is that guy? You know, what's really funny is like I tweeted about this and I have had uh, these these pathetic fucking absolute monsters in my fucking replies uh, doing a never ending sea of self reporting. OK, talking about how uh, awful they are, how monstrous they are and how they are devoid of any kind of shred of humanity. OK. I'll, I'll give you uh, I'll, I'll pick a couple choice ones for you and then we'll address that commentary. We'll address those takes as well, because I said how Christian like um, when, uh, you know, it's Christmas Eve and about 50 migrants were dropped off in front of Kamala Harris's residence. <sighs> So wonderful, okay? So wonderful for people to just like turn around and uh, use this inhumane moment uh, to say, Why don't you fucking... Why don't you fucking house them yourself? It's like, bro, I pay taxes, okay? I don't know about you, but I pay taxes and I want the government to deal with this sort of thing, okay? I pay taxes for this specific reason, okay? Because... It is insane to make the expectation that, like, random citizens are supposed to be uh, uh, dealing with an actual influx of migrants, okay? Outside the vice president's home in Washington, a spokesperson for Texas Governor Greg Abbott confirming the migrants came from Texas, saying they willingly chose to go. Many of the migrants, including children, were not wearing proper winter coats and clothing. Abbott's communications director... What happened to just being a good human without the incentive of... Taxes of the government stepping in? What the fuck are you talking about, brother? Are you this fucking painfully oblivious to why governments exist to, to begin with? Are you this stupid? There are things that each individual human being should not be expected to engage in, okay? I don't know the first thing. I can't speak Spanish. I and others like myself, just like you and your family, should not be expected to... Work with migrants on the fucking cold, snowy day. There is a reason for why we live in a society, okay? That's the whole purpose. Why else are we doing this? So if someone in need came to your door in bad conditions, you wouldn't help them? That's not what I'm saying at all. But we're talking about policy, you fucking absolute troglodyte, you brain-dead moron. Is that what we're talking about? We're not talking about that. Greg Abbott. They came to Greg Abbott's doorstep. Greg Abbott is well equipped to fucking help these migrants that came to his doorstep. What did that piece of shit do? He fucking shipped them off to D.C. If this is your greatest argument, you fucking baboon, you've already lost. You've lost any shred of humanity that you had. And also... You lost the capacity to subscribe at the top of the hour when there's a three-minute ad break. I want to hear this dumbass. I want to hear what else he has to say. What other dumb things he's going to say because he thinks he's so fucking brilliant. Oh, my God. He's like, dude, what? I can't believe you said you would spit on the migrants that come to your fucking doorstep. That's not what I'm saying at all. We live in a society. The expectation is that we're pooling our fucking funds together so that people can be taken care of adequately, okay? You are literally looking at the government not doing what it's supposed to be doing and instead playing fast and loose with people's lives specifically to do political theater in the middle of fucking Christmas Eve and it is supposed to backfire because it's like such an unchristian thing to do, especially on fucking Christmas Eve and there are still mouth-breathing Sea cucumber brained dickheads who are trying to defend that kind of behavior. If individual acts of kindness were to make up for the government's inefficiencies, we would not have mass poverty in this fucking country. We would not have homelessness in this fucking country. 
You will never be able to individually solve systemic problems. You can only solve systemic problems by collectively engaging against the system and changing the system. Okay? You could invest your entire life like the dumbass capitalist brained monkey that you are into saving individuals and you would still never be able to make a fucking dent in the system. Okay? My main point is that people should not refuse to help those in need when the government fails to act. Of course, policy takes priority, but we should step up to pick up the slag of otherwise. No one is talking. You didn't hear me fucking shit on the churches that took these people in, you fucking dumb idiot. That's not my point at all. So why the fuck are you defending Governor Greg Abbott by placing the emphasis on people who are trying to literally deal with his malicious incompetence that is outright evil while we're talking about his evil actions? Imagine if you're in the situation of the migrants. Would you even want your children in the cold, just to prove a point? Have everyone hate you because they just want to be saved by the evil they were facing from Mexico? It is so wild to me that Greg Abbott can get away with this kind of behavior, okay? And people will still talk about, like, you know, it's on the liberals to fucking defend these migrants, which they are. But, like, how are you going to refuse to fucking see that, like, he is the one that started the problem. Bill. They're coming through Mexico. They're not even from Mexico, though. They're Oftentimes, they're just Venezuelan, too. I'll never forgive trees for not finishing the job they started. I agree. If there was any honor or justice on this planet, that tree would have finished it off. All right, let's 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 uh, move on to some more lighthearted endeavors after this story. You're saying the migrants signed a voluntary consent waiver in multiple languages. Abbott recently spoke to ABC's Martha Raddatz about the bus drop-off in multiple cities. And I removed them to locations that self-identified as sanctuary cities that have the capability and the desire to help out these migrants. And so that's exactly what's taking place. The White House calling the move on Christmas Eve a shameful stunt, but Abbott's office firing back, slamming the White House as a bunch of hypocrites. The back and forth comes as both sides await a ruling from the Supreme Court on Title 42, a pandemic era policy that allows the government to expel asylum seekers on public health grounds. The Biden administration argues the COVID emergency is over. Abbott says otherwise. Uh, whether it's COVID or some other issue, when you got people coming across the globe, without knowing at all what their health status is, that almost by definition is a public health risk. There's every reason to keep that in place. And now new figures show the extent of the crisis. Nearly 1.6 million people are now waiting for their asylum applications to be processed, a record number, with cases now seven. It's so funny that like America, the only time America has held on to like rigorous COVID protocols is Title 42. The only time... The American government has cared about COVID is when it's migrants that are coming in. And, like, there's a way to deal with that by fucking, you know, processing migrants through uh, some level of medical checks or something. But, nope, can't do that. We just got to make sure that we are denying asylum seekers their legal right to seek asylum. Ten times higher than I hate a this country, ago. man. I, I really do. By the way, the it's average so fucking wait time annoying. for an asylum hearing is now more than four years. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the 